Good morning. Oh. Oh. Do you know like when it feels like really early? And it is. But like, you know that you have to get up, but your eyes keep closing. And every time you close, you get like this like warm feeling. And all you want to do is go. Mm -hmm. But you got to get back up. And you kind of just like. Okay, just two more minutes, and you close again, and you're like, mm. and you get back up, and you're like, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. But then you feel that warm, closed feeling again, and, but anyways, I'm feeling that, like, crazy right now. Oh, Alexa is not here. I tend to wake up, and she's not here a lot. She must be in the bathroom and doing something, um, but it's Wednesday. Oh, good morning. So it's uh, it's almost 7 a.m. Uh, I'm up. I think that I'm gonna go to the gym. I still don't know where Alexa is, but um, we're gonna find her. Probably in the office. I think I hear her coughing. Yeah, I don't like waking up alone. I don't. I found the coughing machine. She was in the office and she was coughing. Are you all right? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I think, remember how, like, I, I always, I always sneeze. I sneeze a lot here, and my throat always hurts here. So, I don't know if it's, like, the dust, if it's, like, dust in house, or if it's from all the, like, weird construction stuff. Maybe I'll fix it. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. I'll fix it. Good morning, little Sasha bear. You are a little bear. She kind of looks, seats? Look at this, she, 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 she looks a little old because of her like little hair. It's like an, like an old, old, lady. old lady, yeah. I can't wait for her shagginess to come back, like her big, her big shagginess. And then Sid, of course, had a little accident last night. How bad is it? It's not bad. Let's see, for those of you who have experienced, I, I don't know why she, she does it still, but let's see. Well, she had a little bit of, Poopy problems last night. And she ate it, babe? Come on, so get out of there. Well, that's no fun. Why would you do that? Well, it's early, it's about eight o'clock. We got a phone interview uh, at 9.30, right? So, so, so we're gonna head to the gym, get on that phone interview, and uh, I don't know, man. Let's see what today brings. Lex and I have been talking about uh, possibly and it might not happen today, but but putting some fruit trees out by the area over there, and like making like 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 our, our fruit tree section, because our gardener said that we could dig up all the pipes and make all the irrigation for that one section what waters the trees, which is like perfect, because then I can set it off separately and it, it, it can basically uh, uh, stutter in the morning. Yeah. It can basically have its own timer, and it would be really good. So uh, we're gonna start looking into that, and maybe. Maybe soon, in the next couple days, uh, we're gonna put some trees in. I'm thinking a mango tree, a fruit tree, a uh, fruit tree, a uh, mango tree, an apple tree, no, mango tree, an orange, orange tree. tree. What, uh, a, a lemon tree? Yes. What else, we need two more. It's a big area. Um, Not a banana tree, I don't really want bananas. <laughs> Anything? Um, let's see. What do you guys think? What kind of trees do you want us to have? Do a little apple tree or something. I mean, apples would be cool. My friend used to have an avocado tree. It was Ooh. just gross when they would fall because it was like mushy. Yeah, no, no, thank you. But the same you. thing's gonna happen with the mangoes. But I think like maybe we put like a, like a little wooden bench under it and make it like a cool little area. Maybe string some lights and it's like this fun like little hangout. Oh, he's smelling me down there. <laughs> hey, Sash. Hi. <laughs> All she wants is the love. Okay, gym time. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. So much like the Italy. So I knew it. I knew it was going like, to be in there somewhere. Come on, try it. Like the we just made up a song. Alexa says, that house looks like so much like the Italy. That's so, not what I said. What did you say? <laughs> I said, I love that yellow house because it looks so much like Italy. And, th and then I sang, so much like the Italy. Come on, sing it, babe. So much like the Italy. You changed it on me. I'm harmonizing. Yeah, but you did it so well before and I was able to follow. Fine. So much like the Italy. So much 
so much like the Italy. Please keep this on. I asked Carlos once for my birthday. I was like, the only thing I want, or I think it was Christmas, I don't remember. The only thing I want is for you to write me a song because I love letters, like I love stuff like that. And he, he was just like, I don't want to write a card. And I'm like, how about a song? Just write me a song. He's like, okay. It never got finished, but it's actually really cool. There are only three words in the whole song. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this one. And it was just, I love you. Over yeah. and over again. How did it go? I don't know, it, it actually love. was cool. Wait, wait, um. Oh my gosh, I remember it. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was, but I was kind of like, oh, thank well, you. Guys, I tried. <laughs> Jamaica, ooh, I want to take it to Bermuda. Uh -huh. Come on, baby, mama. Hilago, Montego, baby, wow. Gym vibes. We, like, I couldn't wait to experience that. But for, you know, for, for us together, we had been talking about it literally from like the first couple months of dating. We're like, how fun would this be to have like kids and get like, we'll get married, have kids, go live like on a ranch somewhere. I don't know, it just sounds like. Mentality, what is that? What is these first couple months of uh, impending fatherhood been like for you? You know what? At first, it was so weird because I was so used to Alexa being so active with me, and then it kind of just stopped. So I, I had to 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 adjust to that, and then the second trimester, so much better. We're back to you know traveling and going to the gym and doing everything, and um, third trimester, it's starting off great. I feel like for me, I'm not gonna really. I experience anything like huge until the baby comes like like I have no idea what's going on in her stomach <laughs> only only she can feel it um, so it's this weird it, it's kind of this weird like um, I, I like you know you don't want to say baby, yeah but... like like I, I don't want to say I'm distance I'm distant from the fact that we're having a baby but it's still like, okay, it's still sinking in for you. like nothing has really changed for me. So it's like, okay, cool. I just have to, you know, allow her to go to the bathroom, uh, like every, you know, 20 minutes, <laughs> which just takes up time. But that's, but that's basically the, the only change. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now for both of you, was, was parents something you always saw or was it something that you were, were open to, but not necessarily like at all always planned for? Um, talk to me about like what you would envision for your life in terms of having kids or not. Car hold on, Carlos is going to talk and he keeps pointing. No, no, no. But, go, go, go. Um, we've, I think for the both of us, and I know especially for me, I come from a big family, so I've always wanted to have... I, look What's up? Que pasa, Mufasa? We are back from the gym. <laughs> We're back from the gym. Alexa, what's what's happening right now? She's uh, she's cooking some uh, carne. It's almost done. Although we're gonna have lunch in like, wait, wait, is, it, is it one or two o'clock? I'm waiting to get back. Well, we're probably gonna have you lunch. Eat this morning, so you need to eat something. I will eat it. Um, but we have some more exciting news. Uh, guys, guess what? what Sasha's really a boy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're the cutest little girl ever. Um, stay here, guys. We just got uh, some packages in. Alexa, she ordered the shirts and the sweatshirts and whatnot. Uh, they're, they're not printed on yet though, but uh, this, we're one step closer. Oh, this is great. So are these the chopped liver tanks? Uh, yeah, these are just the black ones. Tanks? Oh uh, yeah. <gasps> How exciting. Oh my gosh. These are probably really, really big Ooh. on top. Yeah. I think it's an extra, extra large. Wow. It is, it's a double XL. Dude, these are gonna be, okay, look. <laughs> I could wear this as a flag. They're blank right now, but uh, they're gonna say, chop liver. They're gonna be great. I'm really excited. I'm sorry I pulled out an extra, extra large. So are both of those boxes tanks? Um, Probably. Wowzer Bowser. I would say so. And when yeah. do we take them to, to the store to get printed? As soon as we get the other ones. As soon as we write the lady. Exciting, guys! We're gonna have some new stuff. Probably in like two weeks, right? Yeah. Put them up online. Soon. Get them to you guys. It's gonna be great. And these guys, if I'm not mistaken, these tanks are gonna be really affordable, right? Yeah. We got a really good deal on the printing and on the shirts, so we're gonna be able to like get them to you guys really cheap. We're excited. Uh, anyway, 
Love you guys. Let's, uh, let's eat. It's time to eat. And if you're watching this, why don't you pause this and go take a snack? Go get a snack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Sasha's following me. Cause she's like, I want a snack. What's up, what's up, guys? We have uh, decided to do a spontaneous thing today. Babe, what is it? We are going to the beach. We're gonna go to the beach. We never go to the beach. I don't think we've ever gone to the beach here in California. No, not once. I went once for Ashley Tisdale's birthday party. <laughs> Long, long time ago, long back, time ago, back when I was dating Sam, and, yep. and and literally I was like, this is the beach? Yeah, our beach is in Because we're used to like Florida beaches, so we're like, what? What is this? But remember, I haven't been able to go to a beach for a while because of all the Zika stuff. Yeah, so we're so. going to go to the beach today. We we just packed a few things. Um, I was going to bring a drone and like my camera and everything, but I was like, you know what? We'll do that next week. We'll make it like a weekly thing. Um, so we're excited. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. Um... Also, before we go to the beach, we have an awesome meeting uh, with our friend uh, Liz, who works over at Hallmark. Uh, and uh, Lex just did a movie with them. She's actually done a bunch of things for them. I like them. She likes I them. I like them over And there. I like them. So we're gonna go and just uh, have a little uh, lunch meeting. And you know, this is how how this business works. You just gotta, you just just gotta Russell, you gotta continue the relationship yep. and. Uh, we love Hallmark, and hopefully we can come up with something else to work on uh, before or after this baby comes out. Maybe there can be maybe there can be a movie about like young Latino man finds finds pregnant woman on the street, takes her in, realizes that he was the father of the child. I, what? I, I I I don't know. I'm just by like artificial insemination. <laughs> you never know. So we're here at, at the lunch, uh, PF Chang's actually, uh, and we're in, bleh, bleh, we're just finishing. So uh, it's been fun. Um, Liz is amazing, just talking about kids. We're really excited. The girls are in the restroom, and uh, I think now we're gonna head to the beach, which I'm so excited about. It is 2.20, and uh, no one's here in PF Chang's. It's pretty empty. Oh, there's one dude over there by himself. Oh, he's like me, I'm by myself. I kind of look like a loner right now. But, uh, yeah. Haven't been here in a minute, but P.F. Chang, dang, that orange peeled chicken was delicious. Okay, so we're walking to the car. A uh, fun fact that I just learned today, at the, this is the Sherman Oaks Galleria? Yeah. So I pull into the valet, because we were late, so we had to valet, uh, and they were like, oh, Tesla, you can park right here. And I was like, oh, awesome. Sorry. So I got to park right in front of the escalator, you know, the main, main entrance. And then I went to give the guy the key and he goes, no, it's free charge. Just just make sure to validate. I was like, what? So apparently, any electric car can park here for free. That, that, that's what I'm guessing, but pretty cool. All I can think about is how full I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're on the way to the Don't beach. Worry. And we're, we're uh, we've been fed. And that's a good thing. We have landed. We picked our spot here. I'm gonna play some tunes. Probably Justin Bieber and DJ Snake, Let Me Love You, but that's a different story. Um, brought a bunch of snacks. Oh, and some Shawn Mendes, yeah. Brought some snacks. Brought a GoPro. Ocean is punching because he's very happy because he loves the ocean. And uh, yeah, we're here. It's making me want to move to Maui even more. Really sandy. Alexa's really cold, but I told her to put it and she said no. Um, I'm, I'm actually, surprisingly, I'm loving this. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to cover because of the wind. I'm loving this. Are you loving this? Yes. Like how much? From a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I would say you're going to be disappointed, but I'm telling you why. I'm loving this fun. Oh, but here's why I'm the freak? This Hold on. Okay. It's not the beach's fault. Okay. I feel so sick. Wait, what? You're that bad? I feel like I just like, you know when you have a cold? Like, yes. That's what I feel like. But, I think I'm feeling better than I probably would be 
sitting at home. Sitting at home? Well, like why don't we leave here in a little bit and go get and go make you some soup? Maybe, but I want to enjoy this for a little bit longer because I'm not ready to leave either. Okay, well, I'm going to go jump back in the ocean. Oh, that's you. Oh, our friend Tara is calling us. BRB. Alright, headed to the beach for the first time. I'm taking the GoPro with me. The new GoPro, which is like this big, so I really hope I don't lose it. Can you guys even hear me? I hope you can. Uh, well, this is like my first real time at a California beach. Like actually trying to get in, and I assume it's going to be cold. I'm prepping myself. My feet are about to walk in. Oh! Oh! It's freezing. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I thought it was going to be. I thought maybe it would be warm. <laughs> We are headed home from the beach. Oh, I am exhausted. I needed that. It was it was really refreshing. Lex is not feeling too well, as you can hear the sniffles. So we're gonna get her home, get her some soup, and get her in bed. But um, for for not going ever to California beaches, I actually enjoyed myself very much. And I think I think I'm gonna do it again um, next week because it was really nice. And Wednesdays, whew, there was nobody there. I had like a private beach. Oh, this weekend awesome. is Labor Day, isn't it? Yeah, Labor Day weekend. Definitely not going this weekend. It might be fun with like a whole bunch of people there. Really? It Why? It could be. I don't know. You, you mean like me, you, and all our friends? Me well, and you? I'm, but I meant like it'll be fun like having a packed beach. It might be like alive. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I mean, there were these people who were smoking cigarettes like crazy and they were blowing into our face. We, I mean, I would just assume that the, I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer, but I'm just assuming that there'd be a lot of that. Okay. Right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember, I just remember going to the beach and when there being a lot of people, it was just kind of like crazy and fun because there were so many people. Well, I don't know. Uh, but who knows? We'll see, we'll see what we do. But this was a, a successful beach. Trip. What's up guys? We just got home. Uh, the beach is actually not that far from us. Kind of really nice. Um, the pooches are good. I'm doing a little time lapse outside. I'm just, I'm loving this GoPro thing because I can do so many cool little time lapse videos. I'm trying to up the game of the vlogs. I read somebody made a comment about doing like an intro video. I'm working on it. I'm trying to do like a Lex Loves Lowe's theme song. I'm working on that too. Uh, but I think we're gonna lay low tonight. Lex is gonna make uh, some of her epic soup. Maybe I'll film some of that so you guys can see what she puts in it. And then um, we have these free tickets for some movies. So I think I'm gonna go drive down to the theater and see if I can purchase these tickets because they expire today so that maybe we can see a movie tomorrow morning because um, we're getting old and these night these like late night weekday movies can't do it um, I don't mean that we're getting old we just are loving is getting up early and going to sleep early because um, you feel like you have a whole day I'm gonna go play with the pooches outside while Alexa gets the soup ready and uh, yeah uh, change of plans. We are not going to be doing uh, the soup. We're going to be doing hamburger helper. The soup just takes too long. And I'm takes too long for tonight. So hamburger helper, and then maybe a movie, and then and, 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 and bedtime. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. I, love I love you. Um, we've had a song stuck in our head all day, and it goes. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama, Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go down to Kokomo, get there fast and then we'll take it slow. Did you throw this away? That's where we wanna away? go, <laughs> yes. Carlos! What? I gotta go. Uh, Carlos just mentioned me being sick. Um, um, oh no, I might have to sneeze. No, it's gone away. Um, hi, I just woke up. It took like a 10 minute nap, but I am gonna go to sleep, sleep because I'm really tired and I don't feel well. Um, 
I think it'll pass by quickly. I just have like, I don't know, like a throat something. Um, Los went outside because he was making a really cool time lapse, so he's gonna go get it. We ate some hamburger helper. <laughs> I don't know how healthy that is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep because I clearly, I look tired and I feel exhausted and I don't look so hot right now. Uh, hi, baby. Let's go to bed. Okay. See you guys in bed. We'll see you in five minutes or in a second in your time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on today. I love this. This is like our new thing. It is 9.20. Hold on. 9.20. Oh, whatever. 9.21. Uh, we are going to bed. Alexa is already sleeping. Keep waking up. Um, sleep. I'm gonna go jump in the shower real quick and just rinse off because I got sand in my. Yes, sand in your crack. I wasn't gonna say it, but sure. Um, but we wanted to just say goodnight, and we had a great words of wisdom for tonight. We listened to this sermon, which you guys should listen to. It's uh, it's it's on YouTube. It's Rick Warren, and it and it's titled "Was it Learn How to Fight for Your Family?" Yeah. Learn how to fight for your family. It is so good. And he said something that I heard this morning at the gym and I was like, this is the words of wisdom for tonight. He said, you ready? Drum roll, please. We'll work on that. He said that people in your life are most likely not gonna remember the things that you say to them, but what they're gonna remember is how you made them feel. Boom. And like, this whole sermon was all about having fun. He's like, God wants us to enjoy this earth and enjoy all the stuff that, that, that is around us. I mean, I find myself constantly worrying about, about work and jobs and this and what's next and blah, da, 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 da. And I get caught up in what's next and I don't ever, not not ever, but I have a hard time enjoying what's right now. Yeah. And, yeah, and I literally called Lex today right after the gym and I was like, we're gonna go to the beach today. Why not? It was so awesome. We're, and we had a great time. It's amazing. Um, but please listen to that sermon. It is so good. And guys, have fun. Enjoy life. I know it can be crazy. I know, I know we can get caught up in, you know, gotta make money, gotta do this. Gotta, gotta, you know, uh, 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 get, get a higher position in my job. Gotta, gotta get all A's. Gotta, do, yes, we gotta do that. But you guys gotta enjoy life. You gotta, you gotta have fun. F, U, N, fun. Quick story. Uh, Rick, Pastor Rick Warren was talking about um, how uh, he would wake up his kids at like twelve at like one in the morning. He, he tucked them in at like, you know, seven or eight. And then he had this thing called like, like daddy's, you know, mystery tour or whatever, whatever. And he would wake them up at like midnight and be like, are you ready for daddy's mystery tour of the critter? And they'd be like, yeah! Cause it meant that they weren't going to school the next day and they were about to do something awesome. And it, it didn't have to be anything expensive. Um, it didn't have to be, you know, anything extravagant. Like one time he said they went for ice cream at one in the morning. They, they, they had a place that, that served ice cream at one in the morning and they went and the kids loved it. Um, my, my favorite story that he told was when he woke them up and he's like, everybody get in the car. So they all got in their car with their PJs and they didn't have a pool or jacuzzi at their house. So they, they like found this like motel like down the road and one of the rooms had a huge jacuzzi in it. So they, they like rented the room at one in the morning. They bought all this junk food, pizza, candy, soda, and they literally had a party. Like him, his wife, his kids, they all got in the jacuzzi at like one in the morning and just had a party and had so much, um, so much fun. So guys, have fun. Um, and just to end on this, uh, on the last cruise, I was speaking with some of the friends that we made. Um, and uh, this, this one dad, uh, Mr. Michael. Michael, if you're watching this, or Karen, what's up guys? Um, or little Jake. That's their son. Um, Mr. Michael was like, you know, I can talk to my kids. I can say all this stuff to them. But at the end of the day, the things that they're going to remember are all the fun things that we did, all the trips we took, all the, all the adventures. 
Those are the memories. And he goes, and he, he said, make sure to make those memories with your kids. Make those memories with your wife and make those memories with your friends because that is the only thing that they're gonna remember from each, from each relationship. And I, I think I bored Lex. I fell asleep, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, she's just sick. I heard you, but I Please tell me I'm not boring you. No. Okay, good. Cause I, cause, because normally you do all the talking and I, I've been talking. Anyways, I'm very passionate about this. Thank you, baby girl. I'm sorry to wake you up. I'm really passionate about this and uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'd love to, to see some comments of like what you guys do for fun with your family, with your friends, with your boyfriends, with your husbands, with your wives, etc. I want to know what you guys do for fun. Um, like today, we just went to the beach, got some snacks, we drove to the beach and there was nobody there but we laid some towels out and for a good couple hours, like I love that. And even though Lex was sick, she did too. So those are my words of wisdom for tonight. I hope that made sense. I hope I didn't babble on forever. Um, but I love you guys. I hope you have a great night. Uh, Alexa, we're all going to be praying for you. You guys are going to be praying for Lex so she feels better ASAP. Um, and again, if there's anything that you guys want us to be praying for, comment below. And uh, for all you guys reading the comments also, let's be praying for each other. You know, let's, um, let's spread the love. So, as always, uh, signing off, Lex and Carlos. This is vlog number 31, babe. Woo! Mwah! Chop liver. <laughs> Chop liver. I can't wait for them to get the shirts. Chop liver. Chop liver. What does it even mean? What does it mean?